What is up, YouTube family? All my dumpster peeps. Let's go do some dumpster diving. It is a Monday night and it is 10.30 p.m. And I started watching this really good show. It's um on A&E. It's called Accused, Guilty or Innocent. Oh, such a good show. Such a good show. I like didn't want to get up from away from the TV to come out dumpster diving, but I have to. I wanted to go out last night and I did stop at a few dumpsters, but um, I didn't have any luck last night. And I did go Saturday night after work only to one dumpster though. I checked the dollar general across the street from my work and I will insert that video right here. What's up YouTube fam? We are at the DG across the street from my work. There's a bunch of bleach and multi-purpose cleaner in the bottom of that dumpster. So I'm gonna go get it and I'm gonna take you with me and show you it and then I'll put you back in my car because I can't finagle with one hand. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I forgot my tripod because I wasn't planning on diving but I figured I'd stop here. So multi-purpose cleaners and bleach. So don't mind if I do. And I don't know if there's anything in that. Oops, sorry, my hand's in the way. If there's anything in that gray box, but I'll check it. So I'll put you back in my car. Nothing like jumping in a dumpster filled with bleach to clear out your freaking sinuses. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was quite a nice surprise. Excuse me while I take a dumpster baby wipe and wipe the bleach off my hands. I mean, I'd rather be covered in bleach and cleaner than anything else. You know what I mean? So, I wasn't going to dive tonight. But I just left work, it's 11.30, and I was like, well, snap, let's see if the DG across the street from my work has anything, which let me tell you a story about them. So, I went to that Dollar General, what was it, Wednesday, when I got off work, and they had a huge bag filled with medicine, like Theraflu, Mucinex, which is very expensive, um, like kids Tylenol, all kinds of stuff. So, and it was in a clear bag, like filled with tons of stuff. It was super heavy. So I was like, I'm getting this bag. I had to get in the dumpster because it was that heavy and lift it up and then throw it over. And when I did that, I thought it was rainwater because it had rained that day, dripped all over my clothes. No, it was freaking bleach. They covered everything on the inside of the bag in bleach. Oh, I, you're not going to see it because I mother effed at the top of my lungs. And I, <laughs> I'm not one that usually drops F-bombs, but I was screaming it because I was so freaking mad. I'm like, you pieces of beep, 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 mother, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so mad about that. I mean, I know they have to ruin it, but you got to pour bleach on it? Come on, man just like take it out of the packaging like everybody else does or like I don't know dump a, a container of like juicy juice or something in it or apple juice like I could wash that stuff off you ruined everything because of the bleach I, I couldn't take any of it even if it was sealed like 
bleach eats through stuff. So I wasn't taking a chance with any of that medicine. Burnt my biscuits, guys. So you guys seen what I got from that dumpster. Oh my goodness. Couldn't believe it. I was so super stoked. I was like cleaning products and bleach just chilling in the dumpster. And they threw away one of those gray crate things, which that's awesome too because I like to store stuff in those. So that's the second one I've gotten out. They're usually always sitting out um, outside of the Dollar Generals, but I don't ever take them because I know they use those. So I only take them if they're put into the dumpster, which that one was. So I felt okay taking it. So yeah, we're going to go out to the go-to town and we're just going to see what we can find. We are, let me put this light off because I got to switch lanes. I am going to go and check the um, dollar type store right down the street from my house. And then we're going to go hit up Big Lots and the other dollar type store. Check all the places. Hopefully there's something good somewhere. So let's stop talking and let's go start checking these dumpsters. We are approaching the dollar type store down the street from my house, which gave me a ton of stuff last week. So let's see if it's going to give me any goodies tonight. I even remembered gloves, guys. Who am I today? Gloves and a headlamp. I don't know what's going on. Of course, I got the gloves out of the dumpster, so. <laughs> got rid of a lot of their leftover clearing. Here in the night, and I'm already getting a ton of stuff. That's awesome. Dev G 
MGM Rockstar for PS3 game. Bunch of toys, bunch of socks, bunch of clothes for my not with that thing on my head. <laughs> I need to pull my hair up too because my hair was like in the dumpster and that's gross. <laughs> I love when I score at the first dumpster because then I know it's going to be a good night. So, on to the next, guys. Well, guys, I did not have a ton of luck this evening when I went out diving. So, I actually hit up two more dumpsters other than this one that I had luck at. And those are the only two that I'm going to show you because, you know, I had no luck at the other 20 dumpsters that I hit and it would just be boring for you. So I'm just gonna show you the ones I had luck at. Okay, bed tight bath. That dumpster hasn't had anything in months. It had a vacuum, tons of curtains, tons of, man, that makes me, burns my biscuits. Tons of sheet sets. They freaking destroyed it all. Every last thing. I took a, like a dust ruffle for a mattress. Bunch of emptied out dog food in this one, of course. I'm so mad about the bed type bath store ruining everything. That really, really irks me. There was so many nice curtains and comforters in there and they spray painted on bright orange. And I'm sorry, you ain't getting bright orange out of a, out of a white comforter. It just ain't happening. All right, Dollar General and Michaels are the last ones. All right, guys. We are at the last two dumpsters of the evening. Let's hope one or both give us some goodies. Looks like we got stuff in the Dollar General one. Let's hope it's some goodies. Like they're uh, they cleaned out their office because 
there was a ton of like folders and um, paperwork, signage, ads, like tons of stuff like that in there. All right, Michaels, don't do me dirty anymore. Yeah, that one, that one's starting to pee me out. <laughs> I'm thinking they're using their compactor. Oh man, I got such nice stuff out of that dumpster too. Oh well. Well, hey, at least I got stuff out of the first Dollar General, the last Dollar General, and Saturday night out of the Dollar General. So, I can't be too mad about it, you know? I got some stuff. Got a ton of cool little cute bracelets. I got that unicorn hat. That purple um, like crate is super cute. I can use that in the girls' room for toys. So, And then I got a huge bag of brand new toys out of the first Dollar General and all those clothes and socks. So that's awesome. I will take that. But that is going to wrap up this dive video i will see you all in the full reveal slash recap because it ain't gonna be much but i'll get that um i'll show you guys everything tomorrow and then hopefully have this video up for you guys wednesday or thursday like i said and before this video comes out you're gonna be seeing my cooking video where I make pasta salad and a brand new brownie recipe, which might I add is freaking amazing. So if you like brownies, you might want to watch that because they're the bomb.com. Just saying, not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to focus on the road until next time. Toodles. What is up YouTube family? All of my dumpster peeps. Welcome to the recap of everything I got from Saturday night, which was just one little dumpster full of cleaning supplies. And last night, which was Monday evening, today is Tuesday. I just uploaded a cooking video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I figured I need to get this filmed because I have a million things to do, guys. So much. I know a lot of you have emailed me about the patterns, about items that you want. I am getting to them. I actually went through my email, took three hours, <laughs> and wrote down everybody's name, what you're interested in. I have it all laid out, and I'm getting to it, but I ordered some, sorry, this is just going to take a minute. If you don't want to hear this and you didn't order, want to order anything, just fast forward. I ordered some $8 shipping um, what are they called? Padded envelopes from the post office. So they're pretty big and they're padded. So if I need to send makeup or the patterns or just one thing like a blackout curtain to Miss Tina, I didn't forget about you girl, then I can ship it for only $8. I was talking to the ladies at the post office and they see me there all the time. And she's like, honey, why don't you go online and order these padded envelopes? Because you can fill them full, doesn't matter the weight, and it's only $8 instead of paying $15 for the medium-sized box. She's like, you could put clothes in there, you could put makeup in there, lotions, whatever you are shipping. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is such an amazing idea. Thank you so much. Because I hate how much shipping costs, and I hate putting that on you guys, saying, well, I know you're only getting two small things, like sunscreen, for instance, it would cost me $15 to send you just a few bottles of $1 sunscreen, which is what I charge. So I am so excited to get those. As soon as they come in, I will start getting packages ready and emailing all of you with totals, pictures, total cost of shipping, everything. So bear with me, guys. I am getting to it. I promise. So Saturday night after work, I believe it was Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Um, I went to the Dollar General across the street from my work and I peeked in the dumpster and literally the only thing in the dumpster was four, there was actually five bottles of this multi-purpose cleaner. Um, it's lemon scent 
but the one bottle was already pretty much all dumped out. This one, the lid was unscrewed, so a little bit dumped out, but it's fine. And then there was four of these total, LA's Totally Awesome Bleach Lavender Scent. Um, sad thing is they're not HG, so I cannot use these bleaches, I just realized. But they did dump out a few of these in the dumpster, so I can use these for cleaning. Like my husband just went and cleaned our gutters the other day, and I gave him a huge thing of bleach I got for free out of the dumpster. And that's what he cleaned our gutters with. So we will keep that just to clean, you know, things that really need scrub, like gutters, things outside, whatever. And then the multi purpose cleaner I can use for walls, floors, whatever I need it for. So, yay me. Then, last night I went out and I literally only had luck at three dumpsters, two of which were Dollar General, one of which, which was the Bed Type Bath Store. That dumpster was filled with curtains and comforters, guys, and they spray painted every single one. I know you guys always say you can get it out, you can do this. I just don't have the time. I don't. I have two jobs right now. I actually quit my third. <laughs> Thank goodness. YouTube is a job. Those of you that don't think it is, it is. I put a lot of time and effort into my channel. Um, I have twins. I have a bartending job. I work a lot of days at. <laughs> and, you know, I have my twin girls. I have my husband. I have my house. We're trying to get our house completely organized and cleaned because we're going to be putting it on the market soon. So I, I just don't have the time to, to mess with stuff that's covered in spray paint. I just don't. So sadly I had to leave those in there but the one thing I did get from the bed type bath dumpster was this adorable dust ruffle I think I don't know if you call it a dust ruffle but you put it under your um on your box spring and under your actual mattress and look at how pretty that is what would hang down I think this is so gorgeous there is a little bit of spray paint on it but I'm going to try and get it out because it's just a little bit. Sad thing is, this is a queen. I wish it was a king because we would totally use this on our bed. And I'm sure this was not cheap there. Not that any of their items are cheap there. Then, the first dumpster I went to was the DG right by my house. And I found a black bag, which they never black bag anything. They throw everything in boxes at this one. But I found all of these toys and I could not believe it. So these are neon arcade play sets. These were $8. We also got, oh, I didn't even know this was in there, a virtual reality headset, which I'm sure those aren't cheap, and it's in there. We got a Little Hip Hops doll. Oh yeah, she's a hip hop girl. All right, stop. Seven, okay, stop. Seven dollars for that. <laughs> it's getting on my nerves now. We got another one of these neon arcade play sets. She's still going off. Okay, she shut up. And another. These must have been penny items, I'm guessing. There's another one. So that's three of those. Oh, and another one. Four of those. Oh, this is a Jesus Loves Me Baby for $7. And that is it. Those were all the toys that were in there. That in itself is an amazing find, so not bad. Um, these toys I will probably just be donating because my girls, I, I don't need any more small toys. <laughs> I just don't. So I will donate all the baby dolls and everything, but I'll keep this if anybody's interested. My email is down below. Also in that bag was a PS3 game. Uh, this is Def Jam's Rap Star, and it comes with a microphone, and it's in plastic still. So, so we got some 2T to 3T tagless boys boxer briefs, and all three are in there. I am excited about these. I don't know. Okay, so these are a large size 10, 12 girl short. So I'll keep those for the girls when they get older. These ones are also a 10, 12. And these are just, oh, these are leggings. Oh, sweet. So I'll keep these for the girls. 
We got these little heart ones, which are a size medium, so those will fit my girls. We got some 40 watt light bulbs. There's one broken in there. Some double zipper storage bags. Um, these are quart size. Some barbecue kettle potato chips. Three of those. Nope, four, five of those. Some ranch flavored tortilla chips. Some ripple cut potato chips. Two of those. All the chips will go to my work. We got a pitcher, but I just now realized that it is cracked, so that's garbage, sadly. And then we also got another size medium shorts, which will fit my girls. And these black and white ones are medium, so those will also fit my girls. So they got three new pairs of shorts, and I like that they're longer, not super short like some of these shorts are nowadays. I also got a bunch of socks. They all fell out of the bag. They are men's ankle socks, six to 12. So I'll give those to my hubby. I don't think my husband's had to buy socks in over a year, no lie. I always, always find men's socks. So that's exciting. I haven't had to buy socks either. I always find socks in the dumpster, so yay to me. I also got did I say these nacho chips? I don't think I did. And then I got this bowl, but I realize now that it's broken, so that's garbage. I got two bags of Jolly Ranchers, which my husband absolutely loves these, and I have to buy him a bag at least, I don't know, once a week he goes through them. He likes to have them for work, so I don't have to buy them for two weeks, so that's awesome. All right, then we went to the other Dollar General. Oh wait, I got this one from that Dollar General too. It actually is broken right there, so I don't know, maybe I'll be able to do something else with that, but then I went to the other Dollar General and the only thing they had in that dumpster was I got one of these crates, just a Sterilite uh, letter crate for five bucks. Just needs cleaned up and I figure I'll use it for some of the girls' toys. I also got this little basket that has, I think this must have been um, maybe in their break room or something because they cleaned out a lot of stuff there. And this has lots of dirt in it. So I'll take out the inside and wash it if I can and just clean up the basket because it just looks kind of dirty and dingy, but I can use that for decor or something. I got these super cute little earrings. It's only missing a few pairs. And we got a bunch of different bracelets. They were all $2. This one is Elements of Life. This one is Balancing Colors of Life. There's a whole bunch of pink and whites, a whole bunch of purple and white. So there's tons and tons and tons of bracelets there. And then there's some of these ones that are dream bracelets. We got silver and then the copper. Oh, this goes on your phone to hold your debit card. It's a sticker, you just slide it on the back of your phone and you peel this off and then your debit card sticks to your phone. We also got a blue bracelet that says Believe for a dollar, so there's that. And last but not least, we got this $5 trucker hat. It says Magical with a unicorn, super cute with the glitter. I'm sure my kids will want that, so we'll keep that as well. And that, my friends, is everything I got at the dumpsters over the past two times I went diving. Not a ton, but it's pretty awesome, I think. I mean, the chips alone, that's an awesome score to take to work. Got all my coworkers. Uh, the shorts and the pants for my girls, that's amazing. Socks for my hubby. Jolly Ranchers, the headset, the PS3 game, all the toys I can donate. So, yay me. <laughs> but that is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me last night and today while we went over everything that I got at the dumpsters. I will probably be going out again either Wednesday or Thursday night or Friday night. Possibly two of those nights. I'm not sure yet. It depends how late I'm at work. So, we shall see. I will, of course, talk to you all in the comments down below. And if any of you are interested in any of the items that you've seen in this haul, please shoot me an email. I 
don't mind shipping things to anybody as long as you are not paying more than the objects are worth with the shipping cost. That's why I'm waiting for my $8. Why can't I think? Why, why, why? My shipping envelopes that I'm ordering from you, the post office for only $8. So I'm hoping I can fit a lot of things in them. That way you guys have cheaper shipping for a lot of the items that you guys already have ordered from me. So that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And as always, happy diving. Bye guys. Bye.